looking forward to giving us a shot. I haven't had any chocolate milk yet today, and it's what? It's noon or something like that? That's, uh, that's atypical. Ruby's Market in Springfield, Missouri. Had to pick up some Edgewood Creamery chocolate milk and some Memory Lane Creamery. Made the trip down from KC to go get them. And we're gonna have a look around and uh, hit up some stores here and then continue south. Hey, checking in from Branson, Missouri. I think we're on the, this is the White River. It's on the White River. I think Arkansas is on the other side, which is where we're headed next. No road trip is really complete without stopping off and having some chocolate milk. No, I did pick up one of these. The review copy is on ice in the car, of course. This is Edgewood Creamy from Purdy, Missouri, and uh, which is about 50 or 60 miles west of here. Oh wow, it's really good. Edgewood Creamery, you've done your homework. This is delicious. I guess from here, we're gonna continue on south to Arkansas, and we'll check in with you then. There it is, we're in the natural state, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, we picked up some Ozark Mountain Creamery, which is from uh, Ozark Mountain, Missouri. <coughs> Not Arkansas. But it's available here, it's also available throughout Missouri. I tell you, Missouri's chocolate milk scene is legit. With Shadow, you got Ozark Mountain, you got uh, Memory Lane, and the Edgewood Creamery that we just picked up. That's four pretty nice chocolate milks that represent Missouri. I haven't seen any local Arkansas-based chocolate milk yet. Uh, we're gonna check out a few more places and uh, report back on that. Miami's pretty dry this time of year. Miami, Oklahoma that is. Uh, there's a Brahms ice cream and creamery here. It's an Oklahoma City based ice cream shop and they've got their own chocolate milk. There is Brahms in Southern Missouri and Southern Kansas, but hey, uh, you want some Oklahoma chocolate milk, we go all the way to Oklahoma. So let's head in there and check it out. Hopefully they've got some, it's Saturday afternoon on a hot day. pickup they had lots of it unfortunately they don't have a smaller size that I could drink in the car you have to haul it all the way back home and uh, keep it on ice until then review it when we get home it's been a good day wow that's one of the best chocolate milk flights I've had in a long time um, all four of them are outstanding in their own right and uh, we're gonna go through just hit the highlights uh, of them right now. Memory Lane Dairy, and they've recently moved from glass bottle to plastic, even though the plastic kind of resembles a glass bottle, it does look really sharp. First thing that I notice is kind of a, a honeyish, sort of a sweetness hits you first, and then there's just the right amount of uh, wildness, I guess you could say. It is grass fed, and you can, you can taste that, but it's not overpowering um, like the, Ran Lu dairy stuff that I had in North Carolina not too long ago. Overpowering, but granted, I like it. It might be off-putting to some. Next up, we got Brahms. It surprised me. Brahms being an ice cream shop, I expected this to be super sweet or something like that, or it's really not. Of the four, it's the least sweet, and it works. It's very substantial texture, too, with a strong focus on chocolate. That's mainly what you're getting. There's also, to me, a little bit of a marshmallow-type flavor which is strange because it's not super sweet and marshmallows are all just sugar. It does make for a unique drinking experience and unique in a good way. People who like thick chocolate milk that's very chocolatey and not too sweet, then yeah, go out and get yourself some Brahms, you'll love it. All right, Ozark Mountain Creamery, and this is from Mountain Grove, Missouri. I think I screwed it up before, I, whatever it was, I said it wrong. Yeah, this stuff is super rich. Uh, it's got a really rich, creamy texture. It's, it's dense. 
The cocoa flavor is maybe more towards the caramel end of the spectrum, and it, it's it's very unique. And I only it, it reminds me specifically of uh, Kelowna Supernatural, which has a much wider distribution radius than this stuff does. And I think probably a lot of you, if you're a chocolate milk fan, uh, particularly in the Midwest, have tried Kelowna and recognize it as a, oh, it's a different chocolate flavor. This is very similar, but the texture of this I like a lot better. It's just, again, it's dense, it's really rich, really creamy, and it delivers it really nicely. Okay, and last, certainly not least, is Edgewood Creamery. Uh, I'm glad I bought a few of these um, because it's not gonna last long around here. It's sleek, it's velvety, it's just really indulgently creamy, and it has just lasting flavor that, that the maltiness carries well beyond the sip. It's also got the perfect amount of wildness, again, similar to the memory lane, where it's noticeable but not overpowering. Yeah, every sip just reminds me, this is a 10, this is what chocolate milk is about for me. Tastes definitely vary. All four of these are outstanding. It's dangerous knowing that I can get this stuff within a three hour drive, uh, so I might just do it on a whim. Woo! Let's go on the prancing. There's music shows, rodeo, the Ozark Mountains right outside your window. Benny, Benny, I got to an old soldier to fill away our blues. Let's go on the prancing. We'll try to get it in. Um, have it on the left side of the screen. Is that all right? If you could have me more on the left side of the screen, that'd be great. The, uh, I'm sorry, the right side of the screen. Yeah, because the slide will come in, yeah. Okay, good.